Stark is such a hunk. But if you're looking for hunks, you're just going to find nerds here at Rick and Dave's Comic Book Hour. Welcome to Rick and Dave's Comic Book Hour. I'm Dave. And I'm Rick. This issue we are going to talk about Superior, uh, Superior Spider-Man issues 11 through 13. The Smythe storyline. Yes. And we got Smythe coming back. And, well, he's not really back, but <clears throat> he's going. He's on death row, and he's supposed to be executed. And Mayor Jameson gets hold of Spider-Man, wants him to be there just in case something goes wrong. And uh, Jameson knows that Smythe will try to escape and might even pull that off, and he wants Spider-Man to be there yeah. on hand to prevent it. So there is no he escapes and gets captured later, but Spider-Man is there to shut it down immediately. And so, being the superior Spider-Man, Spider-Doc is coming up with every possible scenario and uh, sets up preventative measures so that way Smythe can't escape or spider survive or anything like, like that. Spider-Bots so. uh, invade the prison yeah, and invade the rap shop. And, uh, so he sets up a way to protect a few people that were left there on the island after they get kind of ahead of yourself here yeah, now. But anyway. So anyway, they're going, to, they're going to execute Smythe. Of course, I forget how he gets out of it. But then he gets loose. And he's trying to escape. And as he does something, Spider-Man's there to know. I got that covered. But then eventually, Smythe sends out his own version of uh, tech to give Boomerang yeah, and Scorpion. So he's got and some Spider-Bots in his own who else? version. Power that boomerang sweater, uh, yeah, and vulture. Uh, vulture, the power, you know, so. because Spider Man beat the tar out of them, they couldn't actually, they couldn't actually function. You know, I mean, so. the fear Spider Man, you know, he totaled them, so I mean, they have broken bones and can't walk and all this stuff. Yeah, so, blinded them, and blinded them. Them. so, his spider, the That's spider true. slayer bots give, give them all uh, armor and superpowers by the end of the issue, so that's how he uses his abilities to try to take, or try to escape. And all he wants to do is just get off the island. He doesn't really care if he kills, kills Spider-Man right now or not. He He's happy to wait to do that, so that's why he gets Scorpion, Vulture, Boomerang all involved. And, and uh, that leads into issue number 12. So we got big fights going on there, so... Superior Spider-Man is blocking every attempt of Spider Slayer's attempts to uh, escape and whatnot. Well, the three others are wiping out the guards and going after the civilians, such as the mayor, if you will, his, his assistant, and assistant, some other uh, reporters, yeah, and such. reporters and such. And um, Spider-Man puts him in a bubble, a protected bubble, by, which is produced by and his spider, spider bots. Yeah, so he programs him to create this energy field. So the Jonah doesn't get into the bubble. He wants to go out and kick butt. Yeah, he wants to go out and take down the Spider Slayer. So he gets some armor and a gun. And basically, kind of gets himself in some trouble, but he gets out of it. And, and he meets uh, up with uh, <coughs> Spider-Man. Yeah, is this the issue he does that? And at one point, the power mostly goes out during the... Now Spider Slayer knocks out the main power, trying to get to the bubble, I think. But then that releases the Lizard, who's one of the last villains left on the raft. But, uh, yeah, because they're going to close that down. Yeah, they're going to close it down. So, then towards the end, we got a fight with Boomerang and Spider-Man. Uh, Scorpion's going after somebody, and Vulture's going after another. Not so. In the last issue, we got the lizard teaming up with Spider-Man, sort of, and I'm up to John. And so we got the Spider-Man and Spider Slayer taking each other on. Vulture's trying to get through the bubble. The Scorpion's trying to take out Jonah. Now, but, Jonah tells Spider-Man to take Smite out. Basically, that doesn't come right out and say, but he's actually telling Spider-Man, telling Spider you, you get a chance, you just go ahead and kill him. Don't even worry, worry about 
yeah. the, the legal way. And if you get a chance, you just take him out yourself. Because he, he knows Spider Man. This, I think you know, Spider Man has changed enough where you know he says yeah, he killed man. that guy or any yeah. previous issues. So, so anyway, the fight kind of goes wrong way and Smythe loses his spider bots and so therefore or he gets knocked out so that takes care of <clears throat> the other three bad guys because their ability their armor was linked to spider slayer so they all escape without any injury then Smythe tries to pull a Dr. Octopus and going to try to transfer his consciousness into Spider-Man's body which been there done that so that doesn't work and Spider-Man tells Smite that he actually is Dr. Octopus. So, I mean, that's, I think it's the first time he's told anybody that. Yeah. And he just says, oh, I've already, I'm, I'm really Doc Ock, and uh, guess what? You're going down. <laughs> You're going to die. I mean, I can't tell you because I'm going to kill you. So, yeah, so he ends up being done all together with Spider Slayer. And then at the end, Spider Doc blackmails the mayor and to giving him the Raft Island. Yeah. So that way we have a Spider Island too. I mean, we asked Juna for the island so we can have a base of operations the headquarters, and Juna doesn't like that idea. So Spider-Man, well, you, well, Spider-Man has something that he can, I guess you know what it is, that he can blackmail Jonah with, yeah. and so he can get the island. With all his spider bots all over the city, he was able to record a lot of what's going on and so therefore use that information against Jonah. Yeah. So, so since, now so starting next issue I suppose Spider Man will have his own little head well yeah have his own little headquarters, building it, hiring a crew. Yeah, it looks like he's getting some uh, he'll have some spider lackeys yeah. running around so they can do his bidding and should be interesting this uh, having this island should be interesting development. Yep. I so far, I mean, this title hasn't disappointed anybody. Yeah. No matter what, you kind of miss Peter about. Parker, but this is a pretty interesting story. Yeah. So, so I mean, it's gone on. I don't know. I've, I think it's gone on as long as I thought it would. I mean, I don't know. It might have a few more, a year of it yet. I just can't. I mean, I can't see this being permanent. I just, it's gonna, it's gonna come to a head. I just don't know when they want to do it. Yeah. Well, it probably depends on their sales. Yeah. <laughs> sales start to decline, then they'll bring it back. Yeah, yeah. Right. they got to have the big, then it'll be a devil size issue of Peter Parker Returns. Yes, then they will have Amazing Spider-Man 701. Yeah, <laughs> 7. That's me. Yeah. Why not? Who but knows? anyway. Marvel numbering, you never know. It could yeah, be issue 800 for all we know. Could jump back. Yeah, they might count this as, I don't know why, it's a total different title though. But, at any rate, uh, we've enjoyed the book. Hope you enjoyed the book. And that's the wrap on Spider-Man right now. Thank you. Goodbye. Ooh, it looks like my lunch has arrived. I'm always looking for more blood donors. But while I'm eating, I'd love to sit and watch the Rick and Dave's comic book hour. There's he all too. Hey everybody, welcome to Rick and Dave's comic book hour. And I'm Rick. I'm Dave. And since we haven't put up our superior Spider-Man, from a few weeks ago, we might as well catch up with the latest issue, which issue is number 14. 14. Which uh, really starts off pretty interesting. Doc is chasing down <laughs> the Doc King, Kingpin, the King. or Spider Doc, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. But anyway, yes, this is pretty cool because he's doing stuff that Spider Man never did. We got to realize is. in this issue, he starts out, he already has his henchmen. That's right. And he's got his big bad spider machine. Yeah, he's got big robots and armor and whatnot. And he walks right in there to the Shadowland and kicks ass. Yep. He just literally obliterates that whole thing in the, while saving all the civilians at the same time, you know, making yes. sure nobody gets hurt. Because he does have some sort of moral code, even if he is crazy. <laughs> so, overall, I like the issue. It's pretty cool. Um... Here's a pretty cool splash page there. Spider-Man taking on some ninjas. It's very interesting that, that Kingpin realizes that he's not listening to the same Spider-Man he knew. That's right. It's like, it sounds like Spider-Man, but it's not Spider-Man. Not a Spider-Man he knows. 
So this is interesting that people are still picking up on that, but I just think he's just yeah. made a change. Yeah, they haven't quite put it all together yet. And the hobgoblin's in this issue as well. And yeah, he's a uh, this one version of the hobgoblin is a uh, lieutenant of the kingpin, and uh, so they make their escape, but actually kingpin's just doing the escaping, <laughs> and hobgoblin's on his own, which that's very kingpin-like. Yeah. And uh, then we have uh, by the end of it all, Spider-Man uses his uh, spider abilities to go ahead and frame uh, Jameson into making it all uh, legal. Okay. Yeah. No, okay. <laughs> That's right. And uh, there's also uh, the spider bots we notice are ignoring the goblins. There's a gang of goblins and a hobgoblin, and then we got the kingpin of crime goblin here at the end. So. Because he says, New York is mine! So that Spoiler should, alert. So that should, that should be an interesting storyline coming up with that. Yep. So. But again, once again, this book continues to amaze <laughs> and be superior <laughs> Yeah. at the same time. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So we are digging it. This is an addition to, to what we reviewed earlier. So hope you enjoyed it. And go out and check out Superior Spider-Man.